Yeah, welcome back. In the last session, we have discussed the basics of profit and loss. Now, in this session, what we are going to do, I am going to extend that one, extend that one with some uh, moderate and a little advanced level questions which are commonly asked in most of the competitive exams. Alright, so now let us take the first question in this order. Uh, the question said, this question asked in many exams, many competitive exams, right? They ask the question in this way. A man lost 20% by selling an article for 2800. What is the gain or loss percent if he sells it at 3605 is the question, right? Now simply, uh, first of all think in this way. What would be the conventional way of doing the question here? Just think it over. First, last 20% by selling the article for 2800. With the help of last percentage and the, cost, and the selling price, I can get the cost price. Generally, this is the conventional way, right? After getting the cost price using these two, of course, I'm going to like compare the cost price with the selling price. If selling price is more than that of the cost price, in that case, that is a profit transaction. If not, otherwise, it is a loss transaction, right? So now, uh, this is the conventional way. First, finding out the cost price with the help of these two. Then after that, comparing cost price with selling price too and go for the loss. Then finally, loss percentage or if it is profit, then that is profit percentage. This is the conventional way. But if you do in this way in the examination, any competitive examination, unnecessarily we lose the time. Because this question is a simple question which can be solved with only one step uh, using the unitary method. What is that one step? You try to understand this one. I am just making it very clear. This is the selling price and this is the last percentage. Now I am going to define the selling price in terms of the cost price by taking cost price as a 100%. Always of course it should be taken as 100%. So now I can say in this way 20% uh, is loss. So 80% 80% of the cost price is 2800 rupees. Right? Now if he sells it at 2800 rupees, right? Loss of 20%. If he sells it at 3605, whether it is profit or loss, right? I am going to make it in the other way. Now, 2800 rupees, right? Is nothing but this selling price is nothing but 80% of the cost price because there is a loss in this transaction, right? Then 3605, 3605 would be what percent of the cost price is the question. Now very simple equation, 2800 is nothing but 80% of the cost price because 20% loss. Then 3605 is what percent of the cost price. Now obviously it is using unitary method 3605 divided by 2800 into 80%. Right? Now simplify this one, you will get 103. 103 is nothing but 103 percent because this is 80 percent and 3605 is what percent. So that is 103 percent of cost price. When it is 103 percent of cost price, obviously there is a profit in this transaction. Then that profit is directly 3 percent profit. Hope you understood this one, right? Because in profit and loss chapter, cost price should be taken always as a 100 percent. This is 1 or 3 percent. Obviously, there is a profit of 3 percent. Suppose if the answer is 97 percent here, or in that way, in, this, in that case, your answer is going to be 3 percent loss. Got it? So now, this is the way. Always use this type of this type of methods in the competitive exams. You try to understand this one. I define the selling price in terms of the cost price. Again, definition of selling price in terms of the cost price. First one is 80% of cost price. Second is 103% of the cost price. So there is a profit of 3%. In this way you need to solve the questions. Right. Now we will go for another question based on like previous papers only. Generally what is the other way of asking the questions in competitive exams from this chapter. Let us go for another question. The question says like this sir. A product, I am going for the second question. A product is sold, right? Uh, let us take some profit. Uh, so, sold for a profit of, for a profit of 
12%. Right? Product is sold for a profit of 12%. They have not given any selling price. Simply they have given product is sold for a profit of 12%. Then had it been sold for had it been sold for 18 rupees more 18 rupees more there would have been there would have been uh, a gain of uh, let us say we will take some convenient figure gain of 18% right what is the cost price what is the cost price is the question you please try to understand the question first and try to do this question with one step only. We will use unitary method for this question as well to make it very easier for the students. Right? Now let us say this one. Let us go for this one. A product sold for a profit of 12%. Right? Had it been sold for 18 rupees more, there would have been a profit of 18%. What is the cost price? Now here, don't go with any conventional method. I will give you a simple technique to solve this type of questions. Now here, in this case, you just observe this one. Cost price is not changed. Cost price is not changed. The product is being purchased at a price. After that, it is being sold for 12% profit. Had it been sold for 18 rupees more, there would have been a, there would have been a gain of 18% instead of 12%. Right? Now let us go for the simplest method for this one. I am taking in this way, cost price I am taking as 100. Alright, in the first case, it is being sold for a profit of 12%. Now, selling price in this case is 112. Alright, now, the imagination. Had it been sold for 18 rupees more, there would have been 18% profit. In the second case also, cost price remains same. That is not changed, right? But in the second case, the profit is 18%. Alright. Means what does it mean? In this case, the selling price should be 118. Now you see, I started the question with the imaginary figures there. I imagined the cost price as 100, 100 rupees. Then profit 12%. Selling price is this much. Had it been sold for 18% profit, my selling price, new selling price would have been 118. Now, there is a difference of selling price according to my imaginary figures now the difference in selling price is uh, six rupees right now i'm going to use the fantastic unitary method, unitary way of doing the things here right what is that one when six percent six rupees not percent six rupees is the difference is the difference my cost price was cost price was 100 rupees all right because in the question they have shown the difference in two selling price as 18 rupees. Now, when I started the question with the imaginary figures, definitely there are two selling price for me and there is a difference. I am going to equalize this difference with the uh, which is given in the question here. Now, very clearly, 6 rupees is the difference. My cost price is 100. When 18 rupees is the difference, what should be my cost price? This is according to my imaginary figure and I went with the same like uh, uh, figures they have given in the question. Then after that I am equalizing that one with the question, uh, uh, figures given in the question. Now very clearly 6 rupees is the difference. Cost price was 100. Then 18 rupees is the difference. What is the cost price? Obviously this is 6, 3 times 18, 100, 3 times. Now my answer is going to be cost price should be 300 rupees right this is the way to go for the questions right still simpler methods are there but first you please learn this method after that in the further videos in the further sessions i'm going to discuss still more simpler methods to go for this type of questions not only this type of questions but many many types of questions are there in profit and loss i'm having solution for all the questions in the shortest way in the shortest way right hope you understood this one first i took cost price this is my imaginary figure According to my imaginary figure, case 1, selling price. Case 2, selling price. Difference is 6. When difference is 6, cost price was 100. Difference is 18 according to you in the question. Now, what should be the cost price? My answer is 300 is the right one. Hope you got the idea. 
Now let us do one more question. One more question based on this one. After that, I'm going to change this, right? Now just change this one in this way. Uh, a product is sold for instead of profit, you take loss. You take loss in this case. Loss of uh, let us take uh, ten percent, right? Then had he able to sell this one at a gain of fifteen percent? Just change the question. Had he? Had he be able to able to sell this one at a profit of? Now let's go for this. Now the question says a product is sold at a loss of ten percent. Had he be able to sell at a gain of fifteen percent? Sell at a gain of fifteen percent. It would have fetched. It would have, it would have uh, fetched. Let us take seven fifty rupees more. Seven fifty rupees more. Then what is the CP? What is the CP? This question is taken from very recently asked competitive exams, right? I just read it out for you. Uh, a product is sold for a loss of ten percent. Had he be able to sell it at a gain of fifteen percent, it would have fetched him seven fifty rupees more. What is the cost price? Right? We will apply the same method for this one. Same method for this one because seven fifty rupees more could have been fetched in this case. Had he be able to sell this one at a fifteen percent profit? This is what exactly they have given, right? Seven fifty rupees more is fetched means he has to sell that one for seven fifty rupees more. Only then that is possible, right? So now in the question, difference in selling prices is given seven fifty. I am going to equalize that one with the unitary method at the end of that one, right? Now first, let me take the cost price as a hundred as usual, right? In the first case, he sold it for a loss of ten percent. Means what does it mean? Now loss of Ten percent. Now selling price in that case is hundred rupees. Ten percent loss, ninety rupees. But what they have given? If he were able to, if he were able to sell that one at a gain of fifteen percent, so cost price is not changed. Friends, remember this one, right? Cost price is not changed. It is hundred. If he were able to sell that one at uh, a profit of fifteen uh, percent. Selling price would have been one one five, right? So now, what is the difference between selling price? The two selling price. This is selling price two. Selling price one. This is imagination, of course, right? So now ninety and fifty one one five. So the difference is twenty five rupees. All right. Now our unitary method. If twenty five rupees is the difference, my cost price was. Hundred rupees. Now, in that problem, they have given seven fifty rupees is the difference. What is the cost price? Now, in this case, it is seven fifty. The fraction is seven fifty by twenty five into hundred. You have to go in this way. So, it is uh, this is four. So, two thousand eight hundred plus three thousand. That is uh, plus two hundred. That is three thousand. Three thousand rupees is the right. Hope you got the idea, right? I just repeat the question, simple one. Uh, first, uh, in the first case, I took cost price as hundred, last ten percent, selling price ninety. If he is able to sell that one at fifteen percent profit, selling price would have been one one five because cost price remain same. The difference between two selling price is twenty five. If the difference is twenty five, my cost price was hundred. If the difference is seven fifty, what would be the cost price? I hope you understood this one, right? This is these type of methods are useful for you in competitive exams. So within seconds you can get the answer, right? Now let us extend this one. Let us extend this one. What if the cost price is changed? What if cost price is changed? Let's go for one more question where the cost price is changed. Now see, we'll go for this one. A product. A man sold a product, right, for ten percent profit. Ten percent profit. Now the condition is, 
if he had bought it at because I'm changing the cost price here if he had bought it right at let us say 10% less 10% less and sold it for and sold it for let us take 3 rupees more sold it for 3 rupees more he would have gained 25 percent he would have gained 25 percent is the given one right now a product is being sold at the profit of 10 percent if he had bought it at 10 percent less and sold it for 3 rupees more he would have gained 25 percent then what is the cost price is the question all right now we can do the question with the same unitary method same unitary method let's go in this way cost price the first cost price is 100 rupees and sold it at a profit of 10 percent right profit of 10 percent obviously the selling price first selling price is 110 rupees all right then after that, after that they have given in this way, if he had bought it for 10% less, if he had bought it for 10% less. So 10% less means next cost price is only 90 rupees because 100 rupees was the first one, 10% less 90 rupees. Now he would have like gained 25%, right? Now profit is 25%, all right? So now, what should be the selling price in this case? Selling price is 25% more than that of 90 rupees. So, it should be 90 into 125 by 100. Right? Just go for this one. After simplifying this one, this selling price is, you will get it around, not around exactly, 112.50. 112.50. Right? So now, first case, Selling price 110, second place, uh, second case 112.50. Now the difference between these two, difference between these two is uh, 2 rupee 50 paisa. Alright, now my unitary equation is if 2 rupee 50 paisa is the difference, right, my cost price was uh, 100. Don't take 90 because my original price was 100. If 2 rupee 50 paisa is the difference, my cost price was 100. If 3 rupees are the difference, what should be the cost price? Just go with the same method that is 3 by 2.5 into 100. Just simplify this one. You will get, uh, you keep a 0, take out this point, you will get uh, 120 rupees is the right answer. Hope you got the idea, right? So now this type of questions, whenever you come across this type of questions in the examination, this is the best way taking 100 rupees as the cost price, right? So what I'm going to do, there are some other models in profit and loss. I'm going to discuss that one in the third video. The questions like cost price of, for example, 11 articles is equal to selling price of, let us say, 9 articles or 8 articles. In this case, whether it is profit or loss, if profit, what is the percentage? If loss, what is the percentage? We will discuss some questions based on that one and I am going to change the model. So, uh, I am going to have another 2 to maximum 3 videos uh, with the help of which I am going to clear the concept of profit and loss. Now, in the next video, we are going to take some advanced examples so that the concept should be further clear for all the students. Right? Thank you very much.